is Cindy Leach, your polymer clay tutor in today's studio tip. We are conditioning hard polymer clay. Tip number one, using a hammer. Now there's lots of different ways that you can deal with old crumbly polymer clay and recondition it back to something soft and workable again. And I'm going to be doing a few uh, different videos in the future on different methods. But the first one I'm going to show you is how to use a hammer to condition your clay. Now I dug around and found it, uh, an old block of Fimo Soft. <laughs> we should call it Fimo Not So Soft in this case. And I'm just going to cut a, a piece off. Now I didn't have any old Primo because I go through mine quite quickly. But as I cut through this, I can see that it's, well, I can tell just by looking at it that it's going to be all crumbly and hard to deal with. And if I try to, um, condition this by hand, it's going to be really hard on my hands. And if I try to run it through the pasta machine, it's just going to fall right apart. And I'll show you what I mean. It just turns into powder or crumbles. Now, one thing you can do that's super easy is you can take this clay and you can put it under a sheet of plastic and you can grab a hammer. Now I have a nylon hammer, so this is actually nice to use in this kind of situation. A rubber mallet would work, but any kind of hammer will work. Then what you do is you just start pounding it. You start pounding your clay, and what this will do is it will wake up the um, plasticizers and things in the clay and get it moving again. Now. I think you'd wake up too if you were getting hit by a hammer. But what will happen is now I can kind of fold it in half and start hammering it again and it'll all start pulling together. Now this is a really great way to get rid of stress. Um, you know, the kids won't put away their clothes. The boss is driving me crazy. Or the cat just puked on my bed. <laughs> you get the idea. So now it's starting to pull together and it's it'll be with a few more uh, hits with the hammer you'll have it right back to being soft and pliable just like this one then you can run it through the pasta machine again and work with it like you normally would so I hope that was helpful for you if it was make sure to click that like button that would be great and my question for you today is do you have any neat little tricks for dealing with old polymer clay Make sure to leave those in the comment sections below. Um, I'll be doing new ones, um, new videos, but you never know. You might know something that I don't, I haven't tried yet, and I can add that to a future video. And don't forget to subscribe. We have new videos that come out every week, and you're not going to want to miss them. We'll see you next time, and bye for now.